All right, I'm going to show you how to uh, board a coon. Uh, this is just a normal basswood uh, coon stretching board. This is for uh, large coons. Uh, it helps to go ahead and put the lines on here. Uh, large, extra large, 2X and 3X. That way when you're pulling, you can have something to shoot for. Um, so what I do, I take the coon. He's good and dry. Of course, all the... Uh, Everything's been fleshed off. You just slide him on there. It's important to get them straight. You don't want them crooked, one-sided. Here's a trick I always learn, always do uh, uh, when using wood, is to slam them down like two times. And what that does, it sets the, sh the head and the shoulder down good. And that might give you another half an inch. And sometimes, you know, that's all you need to get to the next size. So I'll make sure it's good and straight. And I usually start with the back. You need to lean it against something. I already know this coon's going to be going right at 2X. And you can't really overstretch a coon on a board. Um, that's why I like boards. I don't use wire anymore because I feel like it pulls it too tight and it makes the fur feel kind of thin. So I like a board. It makes them feel fuller. I like to use these little pins. I don't like nails because it can split the wood. The key is to get it symmetrical and straight. So something about like that and you want the sides even. You don't want it like that. So I'm shooting for 2X. Pull it down, get a pin in there, pull it straight across, get this pin in there. And it doesn't require, some people like to use a lot of pins. Um, personally, I don't put a lot. I mean, it's going to be what it's going to be. Actually, that's a little bit off. Um, I don't stretch out the tails. I mean, they use them, but i never seen the point in going all out doing the coon tail. You know, they get so many, they don't dock. One's not exactly right. So what I'll do on the back, on the belly, I'll pull the leg down one time. Now I'll go this side, pulling it down. And I always use a wedge with anything. I board everything except muskrat. I use wire for them. Put the wedge in there. I like to use a little block or a piece of cork. Okay, and here's an important step. Um, people get a little bit overkill on uh, making a window for coons. You know, you're not trying to make a huge inspection window. So I just trim off kind of about right here and just kind of cutting a ribbon because this skin is going to you can't get it tight so it's going to fold and it'll rot so you're just cutting off a ribbon like that just take a few more pins and kind of pull it where it'll dry and not fold on itself. Put a couple right here. Right there. And I just for kicks I usually put one right here. Here's the uh, this coon um had a problem with its leg and actually it's I guess a good example. That's really too close. You really don't want one that close because when it stretches it's gonna kind of be a big hole. So this one, but you don't want all that. So usually we cut it, have a good inch or so left, kind of like that. And they do use the belly of a coon. Some people think they don't use it. They, you know, they use it. So something like that, or maybe I could have cut a little more off. But um, and that's pretty much. That's a that's a two X coon. Um, that's a good one. And 
then you can just, I hang them by a nail, just right there, and it usually never falls off. That's it.